Fort Lauderdale mayor's race is heading to a runoff, but it shouldn't have to, at least according to tonight's top vote getter. With all of the votes counted, Dean Trentalis and Bruce Roberts will advance the next vote in March. Charlotte Rodstrom, who came in third, will not. CBS 4's Carrie Codd is live in Fort Lauderdale with more. Carrie. Florida Bay Commissioner Dean Trantalis came tantalizingly close to winning the mayor's seat outright tonight, but because he did not finish with 50% plus one of the vote, he and Vice Mayor Bruce Roberts will head to a runoff in March. Fort Lauderdale Commissioner Dean Trantalis took a lesson from Tuesday's mayoral primary. The people of this community decided that Dean Trantalis should be their mayor. Trantalis won nearly 47% of the vote in the mayoral race, but he didn't win the seat outright. He'll face second place finisher Vice Mayor Bruce Roberts in a March runoff. Trantalis offered a message to the vice mayor. Uh, I would encourage uh, 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 Vice Mayor Roberts to consider conceding. Thank you very much. President Roberts made clear there's no concession in his near future. I don't give up. Roberts said he's looking forward to preparations for the runoff. Tritalis says he wants to deal with a plethora of issues if elected homelessness, jobs, flooding, and other problems. Both he and Roberts agree that fixing the city's infrastructure, like broken sewage pipes that have caused a mess in local canals and sections of the intracoastal waterway, is a major problem. Roberts said development is an issue he plans to tackle case by case. You have to manage on a case by case basis. I think development is an important aspect of keeping a community dynamic and vital. And actually, development helps pay for a lot of the fees that we need for our infrastructure improvements. Trantalis takes it a step further. We've got to rethink our passion for development in our city and, and make sure that the infrastructure and the new investment is able to work side by side and partner so that we can see growth but do smart growth. There was a very low turnout here, less than 15 percent. The runoff election will be held March 13th. The new mayor and new commissioners will be sworn in on March 20th. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News Tonight.